All right, we're gonna go on a little adventure today. All right, so now I have landed here in Spain. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spend this time and focus down on the app, try to get it finished and ready for the pre-alpha release so that hopefully in this video we'll get finished with the pre-alpha. All right, so it's right now about 9.30 p.m. and uh, I landed at about 5 p.m. so I didn't have much time to get anything done. I honestly just ate some dinner and then watched some TV. Now I'm just gonna go to bed and get up tomorrow and hope for a productive day. Also, in case you're wondering what I'm reading right now, I'm reading The Joy of Living, which is a book by a Tibetan monk or Tibetan monk. Uh, about meditation essentially. Really good book, highly recommend it. Now I'm gonna go to sleep. It doesn't really look very cold, uh, but it is quite cold. I don't know, I have no idea. I have no way to actually judge this, but it's probably, I'd say 14 degrees. So it's a bit warmer than the two degrees that I do at home. Oh my God, that was so stupid. I set the alarm, uh, the, the sound, I can't even speak. The sound on the alarm was too low. So I set the alarm for five minutes and it, I, went, I was in for like seven minutes because the alarm went off, but I didn't hear the alarm. So now I'm freezing. Okay, so right now what I'm working on in the app is a way to kind of delete stuff because right now you can add things in the app but you can't really delete things. I think I'm just gonna try to find a way to basically use a sliding widget sort of thing uh, to be able to delete sets and exercises. And I hope I'm gonna be able to finish that within this video, that's the goal at least. working here on trying to get the deleting of a just a set to work which uh, has taken me like five hours and there's an error that occurs and that is within a particular method but the thing is that even if I print something before that line that it says that the error occurs on I can't even print something there so for some reason like it's as if that method doesn't even get called but at the same time uh, within that method like further down that's where the error occurs so I, I can't really seem to figure it out so I'm probably gonna have to go out for a walk I think to try to clear my mind and uh, hopefully come up with a solution okay shit like I was just about to go out for that walk and I decided to like okay I'm gonna just try something new and uh, now for some reason it works so if I try to run this again the whole thing actually works, which is awesome because I've been working on this for so long now. And as you can see, we can delete stuff and the totals up here, they actually update based on what we delete. So that's really good. But now I just need to fix so that the bottom part here also uh, adjusts accordingly.
But yeah, I'm gonna go for a walk either way and uh, just clear my head a little bit and then get back and hopefully I'll be able to finish the last thing which is to actually be able to delete an exercise once all the sets have been deleted, which is something that I've also been stuck on now for a little bit. So yeah, I basically tend to use these walks as a way for me to help me solve problems a little bit faster because I get to like go through them in my head. And usually when I come back from these walks, I tend to be a lot more efficient and just get things done. And so on the topic of that and the ways that I'm using to kind of increase my ability to solve different problems, I've been doing a course over on brilliant.org called Algorithm Fundamentals, which you can actually check out completely free if you use the link in my description thanks to my collaboration with Brilliant. And that's been a really great way for me to solve the problems, especially the ones that I'm running into right now. Like thanks to that course, I'm actually able to solve these problems a little bit faster and a little bit easier. And that's something that I'm trying to get better at so that I can reduce the load times within the app. And Brilliant's course has been perfect for this. Brilliant also has tons of other courses on everything from how to code with Python to neural networks to scientific thinking. And they also do a really good job teaching you these things in an engaging way by creating visual and hands-on courses. I highly recommend checking them out. And you'll get a seven day free trial if you use the link in my description. And also the first 200 of you to click the link will get a 20% discount on an entire year of Brilliant Premium. So go check it out at the link in the video description. And thank you again to Brilliant for being a long-term partner and the sponsor of this video. All right, so now I'm back from my walk. And uh, let's try to see how fast or how long it takes me to finish what I was working on before, which is that once you've deleted all the sets, I wanted to delete the exercise that you're working on, because if the exercise has no sets, then I feel like it should delete itself, uh, which was something that I didn't get to work. So now, hopefully, I'm feeling refreshed and I can actually get that to work. So let's try it. As I kind of thought, I basically managed to solve the problem that I was working on. So uh, let me just show you here what that looks like. So right now, if we run the app, so if I delete all the sets for a workout or for an exercise, I mean, then the entire exercise will remove uh, or be removed. So now basically if we swipe away the last set, of course, as soon as you run it to show someone there's a bug that you didn't know existed, Okay, dismissible. I don't think it should be dismissible. Because... So I think what happened is that because it was dismissible, it basically meant that if you just swipe it fast, it will just whoop pop off the page uh, and be gone. But I haven't in implemented anything to actually remove a set if you do that. But I think it's good not to be able to do that so that you don't accidentally just remove sets. All right, so if we go down here, we can see that we have this exercise here, incline dumbbell press, and then below it we have the easy bar skull crushers. And if we remove the set, then we will remove the incline dumbbell press, and it will be replaced by the easy bar skull crushers, which it is. So as you saw, it was removed and replaced. So it works. But what I'm realizing is that there's actually a lot more stuff left that I need to do uh, than I initially thought, especially like how I'm realizing how much time it takes to finish or polish off these like last things that I need to do in order for the app to be like uh, publishable in a half decent state. And so for instance, right now we still need to be able to delete a workout. That's something that I haven't implemented yet. So that's what I'm going to do now. But we also have other things like once you've added, once you start a new workout, for instance, and then go back to the calendar page, it doesn't say that you've done a workout. So that doesn't update organically. Uh, which is something that's not great, that should update uh, automatically within the app. So there's a lot of those sort of things, like minor things that just take a lot of time. 
but I've still made like a lot of progress. So I'm pretty happy with where we're at, but now we need to figure out how to delete a workout. Okay, so that was really cold, uh, but I just wanted to say like, there's something about being here, I don't know what it is, but for some reason, every time I'm here, I feel like I have way more time than I have at home. Like I have time to do this, like go for these swims, I have time to go exercise, go to the gym, go for walks. I have time to make a lot of progress on the app. I also have time to relax and just chill and hang out, watch TV, do all those sort of things. Like today I've probably spent four or five hours working on the app, making a lot of progress. I've also had time to go to the gym, all those sort of things. And it's still not even like 6 p.m., which is super strange. I don't know why that happens here, but for some reason, I'm just super productive when I'm here in all ways of being productive. Like there's something about being here that just makes me super productive. I'm not really sure what it is, but I really enjoy it.